Hello, I'm Jason from the Deeper Network, and we are very proud to introduce AdamOS 2.0. This video will be a brief introduction of AdamOS 2.0, but in the near future, I will release an entire playlist dedicated to every single tab and explaining all of the new features within AdamOS 2.0. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to AdamOS 2.0. Once you log in, you can see the dashboard is completely redesigned. Now we will dive very deep into the dashboard in a further video, but for the time being, let's take a look at some of the major changes. At the very top, you can see the amount of nodes that are online and sharing right now. You can make some adjustments to your Wi-Fi settings, make some adjustments to App Relocator, but a very important thing to know is what data saved means. Data saved is directly linked to the amount of ads that are blocked. Every time you use an ad on your network, it'll use up data. Every time you block an ad, it will not. So the amount of data saved means I have not used 2.1 gigabytes of data for advertisements. And that's really great. Access control has some additional features. If you enable HTTPS filtering, you can choose to bypass something like YouTube or Spotify. If you have a YouTube premium subscription, you don't want to use HTTPS filtering. So you can bypass YouTube specifically. Now let's move on to App Relocator, which has 19 pages of apps to relocate. You can start with TanTV, Shahid, as well as OSN, SoundCloud, PlayStation, Steam, Deezer, TuneIn. And you can do Discord, which now works in every country, and TikTok. 19 pages of apps that you can relocate to any location that you see fit. Lastly, let's move over to the newest feature, which is in Settings, Sharing, and then Sharing Configuration. Now, you can share SMTP traffic, meaning that you can make your emails more secure and impervious to being spoofed. So once you get your device up and running with AdamOS 2.0, enable SMTP sharing, and you will be more secure while sending your emails. So there you go. That's a brief introduction of the new AdamOS and some of the new features. Make sure you keep your device on auto update by going to device and system tab and then all the way to the right and enable auto update. AdamOS 2.0 is going to be releasing very soon, so keep an eye out. We are excited to release it and we hope that you enjoy. Deeper Network of the users, by the users, for the users.